I'm going to show you some must-see attractions in Brussels. Since there's so much to see, I'm gonna need a lot of energy. So I'll have to eat a lot of Belgian waffles and tons of Belgian chocolate. And to stay hydrated, I'll drink Belgian beers. UNESCO inscribed Belgian beer culture on their list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity and I'll do my best to support it. St. Hubert Royal Gallery is considered to be Europe's first covered shopping arcade. It offered luxury retailers and luxury outdoor cafes that could work year-round despite the Belgian climate. This place also hosted world's second movie projection. The Lumia brothers showed their first movie right here just after their successful Paris projection. This is the biggest Art Deco church in the world. It's massive! They started to build this church in 1905. Then the First World War and later the Second World War stopped the building progress. 
They finally finished this church in 1969. Today, this is among top 10 biggest Roman Catholic churches in the entire world. This is European Parliament. Well, actually, it's one of three Parliament buildings in Europe. The first one is this one here in Brussels. Then we have one more in Luxembourg and one more in Strasbourg. It's kind of complicated. It's just that sometimes the Parliament Assembly sits in this building and sometimes they sit in Strasbourg and sometimes they sit in Luxembourg. I know. It's complicated. But if you want to understand how European Parliament works, you can go inside. It's open for public. Maybe then it will make some sense. This is another Art Nouveau masterpiece by architect Horta. It was built as a textile department store, but today this is home of small, blue, human-like creatures that live in mushrooms. They're called the Smurfs and they were born here in Brussels in 1958. This is also home of young Belgian reporter called Tintin. This is Brussels Cathedral, it's Roman Catholic Church built in Gothic style. The building period lasted from 13th century all the way to 16th century and today this church is used by Belgium royalty for coronations, weddings, funerals, all the most important things. So this church is very important and very, very impressive.
This is another landmark of Brussels. It's called Atomium and it represents an atom of an iron crystal. It was built in 1958 for World's Fair Expo. This was the time when everyone was talking about the future, about atomic age. Today in its spheres, they're housing different exhibitions. And these spheres are connected by stairs hidden in the tubes. So every time you visit Atomium, it can be a different experience. We are on a hill above the city center and this was a place for royalty for less 700 years. From here they could control the city and here they had a huge palace that unfortunately burned down in 1700s. Here we have a new palace, bunch of other palaces, loads of museums and it's a very interesting place to visit. This is it, tiny little statue of boy urinating, the most iconic landmark of Brussels. When it was built in 1600s, it was meant as a fountain for fresh water. Over the years, it became more and more popular and it became the icon of the city. That's why they tried to steal it on many occasions. When it was stolen the first time, in the mid 1700s, it was stolen by French soldiers. In one of the other occasions, in the 1800s, when it was stolen, it was broken to 11 separate pieces. They had to weld it and put it back together. On the last attempt, in 1965, when the statue was stolen, all that was left here was feet and ankles. They received an anonymous phone call a year later saying that the rest of the body is in Charleroi Canal. Divers found the body. Then they've restored the statue and finally they put it in the museum. And now on its place we have a replica. This is one of the most beautiful medieval squares. It's called Grand Place and it is the heart of Brussels. This is the biggest building on the Grand Place. 
the town hall, the marvel of Gothic architecture. It has so many little statues and all the carvings made of stone. It's absolutely amazing. It also has this 96 meters or 315 feet high tower. But there is a problem with the tower. Look at it. You see, the tower is not in the middle of the building. When the architect of the town hall discovered that the tower is not in the middle, he jumped off the tower and landed right here. It's just a legend. Today, this star is used as a zero point from where all the distances in Brussels are measured. Opposite to the town hall, it's King's House. Today it houses a museum of the city of Brussels and inside you can see all the history of the city from its beginnings to today. Brussels is truly an amazing city. It offers so many different places to see and things to do that you can never be bored. Thank you for watching and please click the subscribe button. This way you will help us create more videos like this one. Thank you. UNESCO inscribed Belgian beer culture on their list of intangible on their list of intangible culture, cultural cultural heritage of humanity of humanity